Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool... Well, this video doesn't have anything to do with arcade games. On this video, we're going to talk about these old school tube caddies, they called them. I've got three of these things, and I'm going to show them to you. Um, we're going. One of them's all screwed up. we got to fix it. So let's check that one out first. See if we can fix it. It, it's the thing's been left out and got wet and it's in rough shape but uh, we'll look at that first and then we'll come back and check this one out and then I've got another one so okay so here is another one that I've got that I've uh, I'm gonna fix up a little bit maybe we'll mess with it here on this video so it's made a little different it's plastic and it says Sylvania color electronic tubes right so our buddy Gene gave us this and it was full of tubes but it's damaged unfortunately so the ends messed up and the inside is all screwed up so basically the um, this had been left out in the rain for quite a while it looked like I did snap a picture before I started messing with it so, uh, let me show you that. So that's what it looked like. I've been cleaning it up a little bit. So they had duct tape all over this. I took it off and threw it away and cleaned this as best I could. And then this side, I cleaned up, but this panel here, is really in bad shape now the little uh, panels that open the doors um, are really screwed up they're made of like a card so these things weren't really I mean well I don't know I don't I don't really know the story behind them but it, it seems like they weren't really made to be a long-term thing so here is one of the panels and you can see that it was just like it's a little thicker than cardboard I, I call this backer board but I don't know what it's actually called this one's a little bit more complete but it's just disgusting and it's been all wet but the plastic case is actually kind of cool now these things have very little value, right? So we're not going to fix it up and then sell it and make a bunch of money off of it because all they're really good for is to keep tubes in and nobody uses tubes anymore, so they're not really that useful. But it's a neat little project. I kind of like the thing, so I'm going to fix it up a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut um, some new wood shelves for it. So these things are riveted on. See the rivets broke on that one. Uh, so there's one, two, one, two, three, four, five. There are five rivets holding it on. So I can drill those rivets out and then uh, make a new board. So let me go get a drill. <laughs> this is our workroom, people. There's a storage room there. Um, let me go get a drill and I'll see if I can get the rivets to pop loose so I can hang on to these brackets and put them on our new board. Okay, so I drilled the old rivets out. I still gotta clean it up, obviously. And cut a little piece of um, lanau or whatever that stuff's called. <laughs> And rivet it back in with the little cheap Chinese riveter. And you know what? I think it actually looks pretty good. That's working pretty good. Look at this. I even got it like square. Look at that. All right, so that's not bad. So there is supposed to be this panel here. So I'm going to make one of those too. That folds down. 
I measured the original size, of course, and it uh, it doesn't go all the way to the edge. It just that's how they made it. So I'm going to line up the hinges, make a little mark, drill some holes, and uh, uh, rivet that to it as well. Okay, so I got the door mounted on there. Not bad. Now, I know it's not all square, people. Look, it's better than it was. All right, people, look, look, it's all old and rusty. Come on now. Come on, people, it doesn't have to be perfect. Come on now. Now, you can do yours better, I'm sure. Okay, so the last thing on this side, besides doing cosmetic stuff, is on the original thing, it had this little leather clasp. Um... That made it go over the edge. You know what? I just thought, I don't have those. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. That's just kind of a rivet. Okay. Uh, so this little leather piece goes over the edge to hold the door shut. So let's see if I can do anything with that. Okay, folks. I cleaned it up a little bit. Now it's still pretty rusty. Um, so I could do some more work on that. You know, I just noticed this side has these and this doesn't. If this side would have had those, it wouldn't have that hole in it. <laughs> this close. All right. So, here's what we ended up with. I'm trying to do all this with one hand. Huh? What do you think? Huh? Much better, right? I kind of needed this, so that's why I was uh, working on it. I put the snaps on both sides because this one, it flexes a little bit whenever you push it. So it's better to do it from this side, I guess. And I can store some tubes in here. I got a whole bunch of these loose tubes, so I wanted to sort them and have a... Uh, a good place to keep all of my ones that aren't in boxes. And then I can use the other one to hold the ones that are in boxes. See how that works. Perfect. So, I really like that. Now I could, uh, I could paint these or I could uh, also put stencils on them. So it said Sylvania again. I wasn't really concerned with getting it perfect. Or uh, trying to restore it, you know. I'm just trying to get it where I can use it. And I think I pulled that off. You kind of have to make sure that it lines up whenever you latch it, I guess. Bum, bum, bum. Two hands are better than one. That's why we have two hands, people, so you can use it. So, very cool. Very cool. I don't have a radio one. All of these are TV ones, I think. Yeah, definitely. That one says color. Electronic tubes. Well, radios aren't color. They must be talking about televisions. So I wonder what the really old ones look like that were just for radios. Pre-TV. Right. Okay, so you saw that one. Let's look at this big one. So, I got these from a gentleman um, who his father had passed away who was into radio repair. His name was Bob. And so this is Bob's old tube caddy. It's in pretty good shape. This side's missing um, a divider panel, but that's no big deal. And it's got a bunch of like TV tubes. I don't know too much about them yet, but I think the 12s, the 50s, and the 35s, and maybe the 6s and the 1s are the ones that you would... Uh, use in radios a lot and the rest of them must be 
TV or something. This side still has its snaps. So this was Bob's tube caddy. Now, the thing's really, you know, <laughs> again, I think a lot of these tubes I'm not going to use because they're for TVs. And if you, if you haven't thought about it, maybe this just isn't your thing and you find yourself watching a weird video like this. The two main things, at least, that use tubes are radios and TVs. Well, people still repair the radios and collect collect them, you know, because they're smaller. And uh, they're, you can still use them pretty easily. You just turn them on. Now, the, the TVs take up a lot more room. They're harder to repair. And uh, it's just a hard sell. It's hard to sell somebody an old TV that actually uses tubes. So unfortunately, a lot of those are uh, not as desirable. So you run into this situation where you find old tubes and, oh cool, somebody's got a whole bunch of, uh, they're all for TVs. Now they'll fit in either one, but it just depends on the voltage and what they're used for and all of that. So there's some that, that will work in uh, a TV or a radio, it just depends on the design. But in general, there's tons of tubes that work in the old televisions and not many people are fixing the old televisions. Some people are. Shango's fixing them. He can fix the heck out of one, right? Um, but he's probably got all of the TV tubes he'll ever need because they're a lot easier to find than the, uh, than the radio tubes. So this is Bob's... I guess it's mine now, but it used to be Bob's tube caddy. Let me show you this little one. This one's kind of cool because it's a repairman's caddy. GE Electronic Components Color TV Service. So this also came from Mr. Bob. And uh, it's full of stuff that you may never use. But it's cool to have. So there's two drawers of old uh, sockets. Probably used that he pulled off of, well, Scratch that. That's a new one. <laughs> that one's new, so. I don't know. A lot of them look new, actually. They don't look like they've ever had solder on them. But I don't think those are all that valuable. I don't think any of this stuff's all that valuable, unless it just happened to have a tube in here that's something else. Um... Coil with a spring on it. Oh, you know what that's from? Who knows what this is from? This is just my guess. I've seen this before. Well, I don't know. It won't move. Maybe. That might be from a doorbell. Who knows? So a lot of this stuff. Ooh, I've been looking for this. <laughs> wow, I need that. My tube tester, the socket's about worn out. So I'm going to replace the socket. But I kind of wanted something like this so that I don't tear up the new socket. On the tube testers, if you just keep putting tubes in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, it wears out the socket. So it'd be better to wear this out. This, I think, is so that you can you can put the tube in it and then extend it up. And then you can test each pin of the tube with these little doohickeys here. That's right, I said doohickey. Deal with it, people. Some alligator clips. 
I'm not going to charge you extra for uh, all of the video being out of focus. Don't worry about it. Is that a flasher? I think it might be a flash relay, maybe. Owner's manual for an LCD auto ranging pocket multimeter. So he passed away a couple years ago, or about a year and a half ago. And his son um, was just trying to find somebody that wanted to buy all of his stuff. For it. So I bought all of his radio equipment and a few radios and some stuff like that, and a bunch of tubes. So, for a while, he had a business. He had, a, like, a card that he was giving people doing repairs because I got some of the cards. Resistor color code. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's do red. Oh, I can do it. I guess that's red. Red. That's not red. <laughs> that's violet. I went the wrong way. Okay, red. Red. Yeah, it works perfect. That's pretty cool. Just in case you don't have the little limerick memorized. I memorized the dirty one, so I can't say it. Um, some coax cable stuff, a few fuses. Oh uh, yeah, wire markers. I've seen these before, a long time ago. Some little pretty cool. So you get the idea. So yeah, I like this one because it's just got a bunch of stuff. This one looks lived in. You know what I mean? This is like, this was what somebody was using to actually get the job done. You can tell that some guy, you know, I don't know if Bob was using this all the time or if he just bought it somewhere or something, but you can tell that some guy or girl was, uh, you know, work fixing something and then saving a, a little whatever they could in their toolbox just in case they needed it or digging through here and finding, you know, their, a little socket or something that they needed to get one going again. Very cool. All right, folks. So there you go. That's my collection of tube caddies with my newly repaired Sylvania color TV tube caddy. It's awesome. I think we saved that one. What do you think? If that was anywhere else, would they have thrown it in the trash? Probably. I think Gene bringing it to us and uh, uh, us thinking it was cool must have saved that one. Now, I mean, I know we did kind of a, you know, kind of an amateur repair job there, but that's why it's called amateur repair time. So on these amateur repair time videos, you can leave all the comments you want just telling us how we didn't do it right. We won't mind. So <laughs> leave your comments below. Make sure to let us know exactly what you think about that. 
Um, and make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. We didn't have to do that, folks. I could have done a million other things, but I figured I'd, I'd show you my amateur repair attempt at fixing up this old tube caddy. So I'm gonna cherish it now. It's very precious to me. I'm gonna hang on to it for a long time. Okay, so uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below. And, and while you're at it, make sure to check out my brother, Donnie. My brother has his own YouTube channel here. I had somebody the other day say, well, what's the name of his YouTube channel? It's my brother, Donnie. That's the name of the YouTube channel. So go check it out. The link's down below. Uh, Joey and I work on arcade games, pinball machines, jukeboxes. Uh, you know, on the weekends, sometimes I'll do some videos like this. Uh, Donnie does old vehicles old buildings. I'm over there with them a lot. Lately, we've been working on a mobile home that we've, we're fixing up. So go check that out if you haven't already. But we'll see you back here in a couple days with a pinball machine video. So uh, we'll get back on that. These videos like this where it's just an amateur thing, where it's not really what a lot of the people have probably signed up the channel to see. I'm just doing these as extra videos on the weekend. So hopefully, hopefully you don't mind. But if you do, you probably weren't watching this video anyway. So we'll see you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad we were able to save that thing.